I stole a little girl's art trophy. And I don't feel bad about it. Girl wins an art award by submitting a pic of me without my permission. I get it revoked and she throws a fit. Let me start off by introducing aspiring artist, F. She was one of those people who fits the description of resume addict. That is, someone who will do things half-heartedly for the sole purpose of putting on a resume. This story happened when I was a junior in high school, so at this point, Av was making it pretty clear that she wanted to go to a top-tier university, and she was padding her resume as much as possible. For example, she started a competitive science club at my school, for leadership points, but everyone who attended the meeting said they were horribly disorganized and haphazard. So you get the idea. Anyways, onto the story. The conflicted signed up for my school's literary magazine club. One day, the club advisors took us on a trip to various local spots, a coffee house, a nearby graveyard slash park, etc., to take photos to illustrate the magazine. The day before we set out on this, they made it extremely clear that we had to ask for people's permission to photograph them, especially if they're minors. This isn't a law or anything, this is just standard expectations in photography. Av, who is also in the club, comes in with her fancy DSLR, ready to take pictures of anything and everything. She's in charge of all art submissions to the magazine, which she never actually did, so you can bet lots of these pics will be there. As we're walking towards the graveyard, unknown to me, she snaps a picture of me. It isn't anything extraordinary, just a slightly off-center photo of an awkward-looking high school dude, from a slightly low angle. She shows it to me and I laugh a bit, but ask her to delete the photo because I don't like it. She says that she will, and I believe her. This happened in about October. Fast forward to January of the next year. During an assembly, she's called to the front of the school by the principal. Av has won the prestigious National Art Award Silver Medal. A lot of my friends have been trying to get this award, so they were naturally in awe of her. Later that week, Av messages me on Facebook. Oh, by the way, I submitted that pic of you to the Art Award. I was taken aback. I replied, What? I thought you said you'd delete it. Her attitude is essentially haha nope. I submitted it in one. Just for context, I asked to see the picture again. It was literally the exact same awkwardly composed picture she'd taken of me in the park, except filtered to black and white. Now, I could have just let this slide, but I didn't, for a couple of main reasons. She now had an extra spot on her college resume because of me, she broke the art contest rules by submitting it without my permission, and this was at a time when I was underweight and was really self conscious of how I looked in pictures. So I decided to play it smart. Over the course of the next week, I politely asked her in person at least three times to remove the picture. She essentially laughed it off each time. A direct quote, enjoy having your face seen by thousands of strangers in a museum in Boston. I was uncomfortable at the idea. Eventually, I started talking to my other friends who had entered the contest. They said, you need to have a teacher approve of a submission to send it in. I've had Mrs. Math approve her submission. Mrs. Math happened to be one of the advisors from the original magazine club. At this point, I had enough evidence to take this in. I emailed Mrs. Math and told her that someone had submitted a photo of me, without my consent, to an art award. She replied that if this was true, it was very serious, so she'd meet with me in person to sort it out. I went into her office the next day and told the entire story, being very careful not to mention Av by name, only referring to her as a student. I told her all about how I asked her not to take the picture, how she ignored my demands, and refused my three separate requests to take the photo down. At the end, Mrs. Math said, all right, and I know you don't want to just hurl accusations, but would you mind telling me exactly who this was? I told her it was Avdot over the next few days, I've had her come up its. Our school really advertised itself for its achievements, so when my principal heard of this, he was livid, so were all the other teachers, who cared very much about following the rules. I came to find out that Av had been stripped of her award and that Mrs. Math had rescinded her recommendation from the art competition company. Whenever I saw Av in the hallways after that, I got dirty looks. I was also a hero to all my other artist friends. A few months later, I was browsing Facebook. A friend messaged me, Hey, it looks like that pic of you is still up on Av's page. He linked me to a page that I've had made entitled Av Photography, and on it was that very picture of me that had caused all this drama. I commented on it, Hey, I really don't like the way my face looks in this, could you please take it down? Two minutes later, I get a barrage of messages from Avenue you went straight to Mr. Principal and made a big scene and caused all these problems for me. I had my award taken away. And now you want to publicly shame me? Being flippant, I replied, I never made a scene. In fact, I never even mentioned your name to the teachers until they absolutely asked me for it, because you broke the rules of the contest. So yeah, Beach, I want you to take down my photo. Funny enough, the word Beach set her off. I will not appreciate you using misogynistic and patronizing words to degrade me. 
whatever I'd been going through a breaking bad binge and Jesse was rubbing off on me. She quickly went and deleted the photo because it was gaining too much attention. And then she promptly deleted me from Facebook. And then she never bothered me again.